Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have not done a favorites video in so long. Also, I'm trying out a new camera. Let me know if you guys like it or not. I know I have to play with the settings and get it right, but this is just kind of like a trial run. One thing I've been obsessed with is this lipstick right here. It is the NYX Liquid Suede and Oh Put It On. I have it on currently. I do have something on top of it though. It's just a lipstick that's I've just been obsessed with it. It's a nice deep tone, but it's not too dark. I love me a black lipstick, but this has a nice purple tone to it. And I love the liquid suede. I love the formula, I love everything. And this color is just like, oh, I love it. This video is sponsored by Best Fiends. I just wanted to mention this game. I'm obsessed with it. And I was talking to Vince the other day. I was like, have you played this? He's like, uh-huh. This is a free adventure game where you collect and build a team of fiends to defeat slugs by matching same color objects. It like feeds my like OCD of like making sure that everything's like together. You can download the game for free with the link in the description box down below. This month you can play the Easter egg challenge where you can win amazing and rare rewards. And if you win all 16 challenges you can win the bunny. So download the game with the link down below and you'll get five dollars worth of diamonds and gold for free. I don't mind if I do. Boom. Yes. Bye bye slug. Bye bye. Also I'm on like literally level a million so try and beat me. Try it. I'll put that game away for now, but I'll be back to it. Another lipstick I've been obsessed with is by Ofra. Ofra Cosmetics, I believe I'm pronouncing that right. Ofra. It's their liquid long lasting lipstick and it is in the shade Staten Island. And I wore this in one of my most recent makeup tutorials. I'm just obsessed with it. It's like a stone nude. Ooh. I, I I really really love it. People are asking me about the lasting power of these. The formula of it is a little bit thin, so you kind of have to build it up a little bit, but they last a really, really long time. I'm obsessed with them. A product I cannot get enough of is this. This is by Urban Decay. This is the primer potion called Free Base. This is just like a white based uh, eyeshadow primer. I'm kind of sad that I just wasted that. I use this for cut creases, for everything, for cleaning up my brows. I used to use the Kat Von D Whiteout Cream Concealer, but since I found this, Oh my lord, it, like, ooh, this is great. It brings up pigmentation, it sets down to a matte finish, it does not crease, I love it. So, my skin's kind of like cleared up. I have some like scarring left over, so hopefully that'll go down. Um, but, I have to tell you about one thing that I feel like has really helped with my skin. It is this, it's the Biotherm, let me shake it up so it looks like it's full. The Biotherm Life Plankton Sensitive Emulsion um, Fundamental Hydrating Care uh, soothe, soothe and Reinforce. This thing, I feel like it's just rejuvenating my skin and building up my like, I don't know, dermis or something. I just feel like the texture of my skin is like coming back to the way it used to be before I was stressed out and all this stuff. I just feel like my skin is finally clearing up and getting rid of all of the bad and I feel like this has helped the scent of this also just reminds me of like when I was 17 or like 13 the scent of this also have, did anyone ever wear like when they were like 12 the like adidas perfume I feel like it kind of has that same scent and I'm really digging it it's kind of like a throwback I love this stuff Mwah. I gotta mention the duo chromatics by NYX. They have five different shades. If you have not tried these, you need to. I've been putting these on my eyes, on my face, on my lips, on my everything, and my lashes. You name it, I've been putting it there. This one is in the shade Snow Rose, which is one of my favorites. Oh, and they're just beautiful. I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera, but when you put this on, or if you spray it and wet it first and put it on, it's just like this glistening glow of this stunning, like, you get an illumination from all sides with this. It's like literally like, yeah, duochrome. Um, get into it because this is lovely. I wanna talk about a fragrance. And actually YSL had sent this to me, so thank you so much YSL. I had never tried black opium in my life. So this is a new one, it's Floral Shock. And it smells divine. It smells so fresh and clean but like romantic and mature but not too mature but just like hey I'm here I'm like in my like house coat hello that's kind of what it reminds me of I love it go into Sephora smell it you'll probably buy it um a great recommendation from me to you all right guys I gotta show you something 
this. This is the Bioderma Shower Oil. I think it has a fancier name than that. Yeah, it's the Ultra Nourishing Anti-Irritation Shower Oil. I use this a lot. This is essentially like an oil that you put on your skin in the shower and then you rinse it off and then you're hydrated. I love this more than body lotion because I don't feel like this is like topical. I feel like it's actually penetrating like into my skin. So what you do, you're done your shower, but wait, you apply this all over, give it a little rub in, rinse yourself off, and then you are slick like a baby seal. It is so nice. Um, as you can tell by me using like half of it. I wanted to mention this foundation because I have been using it on and off. It's kind of like my go-to since November. It's the Total Control Drop Foundation by NYX Cosmetics. I'm in the shade three. Well, I mix one and three together because three is quite pink. Two is quite yellow and one is like white. So I mix one and three together. I love this because I can control the amount of coverage that I want, which I want full coverage, so I use like a million drops. My advice to you, use it with a brush. Do not use it with a beauty blender because all the product will get lost in the beauty blender with a brush. Stunning, it has like a semi-matte finish, lovely. And it is like in a drop form. Ooh. I'm about to change your lives with this product. This is a why it's the freedom system. I'll write in the description box the actual shades of these, but I want to talk about this guy right here. So I have been getting so many questions about what is a great contour for fair skin just because the Sephora Tranquil is gone. I'm so sorry I keep using it in videos. Just, I have seven, <laughs> so I have to use them. But this is fantastic. I have it on today. It's a nice cool tone, but it still has a little bit of warmth so I don't feel like I'm dead and it is so pigmented, like it is really stunning. Like, mm. Last but not least, I just want to give this little guy a shout out. This is the Urban Decay Obstacle Illusion Primer. It has argan oil in it, what else is in it? A rose hip and argan oil, it's smoothing and it's pore perfecting. I have like lash glue all over my nails. I'm a mess, this one's broken, I don't care. This is kind of like the NYX pore filler, but I feel like, again, because it has that rose hip and argan oil in it, it's like really great for my skin. Not that the pore filler isn't because it's vitamin E in it and it's fantastic, but this, I just love the texture of it. Like I feel like, my makeup sits on my face really beautifully with this. It does have a pump, I love it. So if you're looking for something to just smooth out any like unwanted texture, like around here, like on me, give this, uh, give this a try because it's stunning. Okay guys, those are all of my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what are your favorites and if there are some products that I need to try. Make sure you subscribe and follow me on Instagram and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah.